The world has so many beautiful and amazing places to visit, but even the most active travelers can only see a fraction. What if we could see them all? In 2016, we launched Google Earth VR, the first and only virtual reality application that lets you freely explore the world right where you're standing. Google has spent years mapping the Earth for desktop and mobile, but those platforms didn't give you a sense of scale or the feeling of actually being there the way that virtual reality does. We wanted to take the best imagery that Google had to offer and create a VR application that enabled people to relive their memories, discover new places, and experience the world from impossible perspectives. Designing for VR was unique. We were dealing with new controllers and display technologies where common design patterns didn't exist. VR also requires a deep understanding of ergonomics, human physiology, and perception to create a comfortable yet convincing experience. The enormous scale of the Google Earth dataset also meant that we had to design solutions that would work in cities and in space. By brainstorming and prototyping solutions alongside engineers and evaluating them with think aloud usability studies and cognitive walkthroughs, we were able to balance usability, delight, and performance. Tokyo, look at this! At the time of launch, nearly all VR applications used teleportation to move players around the virtual world. The problem with teleportation is that our study participants often lost their bearings due to the sudden context change. We introduced flying and dragging, but many participants experienced a fear of heights when high above ground, and some became nauseous. To reduce their fear of heights, we dynamically scaled players to keep their feet planted on the ground regardless of elevation. When we moved players in VR while they were physically standing still, the conflicting information caused many people to experience a form of nausea called simulator sickness. To manage the disparity between the real and virtual world, we created something called tunnel vision which provides visual anchors to the real world and blurs motion in your peripheral vision. We also ran several ergonomic studies to determine the best angular size and placement of UI to maintain legibility and make elements easy to hit with the laser. Finally, we amplified immersion by adding physics, subtle haptic feedback, and a rich spatialized soundscape that includes chirping birds and adaptive music. Since launch, Earth VR has been downloaded over 370,000 times on Steam and is ranked the second most downloaded VR app on the platform. The community response has been overwhelmingly positive. We've also been named the best HTC Vive experience at the 2016 Vives, have won the 2017 Lumiere Century Award for environmental awareness, and the 2017 Con Lion for innovation. By tackling some of the toughest foundational UX problems, such as movement and simulation sickness in VR, Google Earth VR has paved the way for other VR experiences to move and explore in virtual spaces. And we're only beginning to scratch the surface.